December 3rd, December 16th, New Style Repose of the Venerable Sava of Saroji Our Venerable Father Sava, from the very young age, loved Christ and detested the world. He came to Venerable Sergius of Radnish and received tonsure from him. In monastic life he ardently pursued heavenly blessings, striving for God by zealously battling his passions and practicing virtues. He faced numerous temptations and seductions from demons, but, with God's help, he overcame them all, persistently observing fasting, vigil, prayer, and other spiritual ascetic practices. Established in virtues, Venerable Sava gained a good reputation and the respect of princes. The pious prince Georgi Dmitrievich came to the hermitage of Venerable Sava and implored him to establish a monastery in his domain at a suitable location. Sava left the hermitage of Venerable Sergius and settled in a deserted place on a mountain called Staroje, in the upper reaches of the Moscow River, near Zvenigorod, approximately fifty miles from the reigning city of Moscow. He chose this place for his future monastery. Here, St. Sava lived in complete silence and seclusion, enduring cold and heat. However, his solitude did not last long. Word of his feats and holy life quickly spread, and monks and lay people started coming to St. Sava from everywhere, asking him to guide them in their spiritual lives. The Venerable One, warmly welcomed all who came to him, setting an example in humility and monastic labors. He drew water from the river, carried it on his shoulders up the high mountain, and performed other necessary tasks. He wished to habituate the brethren to labor, so they wouldn't waste their days in idleness, which is the mother of all vices. Afterwards, the pious prince Georgi Dmitrievich provided the Venerable One with the necessary means to construct a church. Sava erected a church in honor of the honorable and glorious nativity of the Most Holy Theotokos, and established a wonderful and grand monastery for the salvation of souls, where monks could reside. The Venerable Sava was a good shepherd of Christ's flock gathered in this monastery, leading them to spiritual pastures he strengthened them in many virtues. Having reached old age, St. Sava fell ill. He gathered the brethren, instructing them in the divine scriptures, urging them to preserve bodily purity, live in mutual love, adorn themselves with humility, and continuously observe fasting and prayer. After this, the Venerable One appointed one of his disciples as their abbot instructing all the brethren to obey him in obedience. Having taught the world and given his final blessing, St. Sava peacefully surrendered his soul into the God's hands on the third day of December. News of the repose of this righteous man quickly spread throughout the vicinity. All the devout citizens of Zvenigorod, both nobles and common people, lovingly gathered for the burial of the departed saint bringing with them the sick and afflicted. After chanting the funeral hymn over the deceased, they respectfully buried him in the church of the nativity of the Most Holy Theotokos that he had built. The honorable relics of the Venerable Sava continue to this day to emanate various healings to all who come to them in faith, to the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, who works wonders through his servants, and after their repose, Glorious miracles. To our Lord be glory, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen.